It is always a lot of fun to take a break from the horrors of the real world and delve into the fantasy of sci-fi entertainment. It gets even better if the story features an encounter with extraterrestrials unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, and it is better still with some form of human interference where the humans are changed into a monstrous, deformed version of themselves by the aliens. In this video, we bring you a whole library of such movies where anything is possible if you have an open mind. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Thing from 1982. This John Carpenter classic explores alien horror like no other. The story starts off with a baffling event where the scientists and workers of an American research base in the Antarctic watch as a group of seemingly crazy Norwegians are trying to shoot a dog dead. After the bizarre confrontation, the people from the American research base head out to explore the Norwegian base in the region and discover that everyone is either dead or missing. There seems to be the remains of a strange creature in the base that appears to have burned, and the Americans take this back to their base. However, their lives soon turn out to be a living nightmare as they realize a sinister alien presence among them, which can assimilate into other forms, even humans. Anyone at the base could be taken over by the alien creature, and as trust becomes scarce, it is soon a deadly struggle for their lives. John Carpenter has delivered countless hits over the years, and he maintains this one to be his absolute favorite. This cleverly executed alien drama blends horror with a fear of the unknown, and the tension in the narrative is bound to get to the viewer. The, the plight of the protagonists stranded in the middle of nowhere with an unknown force out to get them will remind you of Ridley Scott's iconic Alien. The works of Rob Bottin with the excellent creature effects need a special mention, and the eerie musical score is perfectly suited for the haunting narrative. A solid line of actors led by Kurt Russell make a solid impact and the climax of the movie that doesn't affirm to the norm is certainly the crowning glory. An alien creature transforming humans will rarely be scarier than The Thing, and this is certainly a must-watch for all of you sci-fi enthusiasts out there. The Faculty, 1998. A small town high school in Ohio, Harrington High, witnesses some strange changes in the attitude and behavior of the teachers. The students first get wind of this bizarre sequence of events when the school's newspaper photographer, Casey, witnesses the school nurse being strangled by two of the teachers. Further investigations on this matter reveal that a lot of the students and teachers are infected by an alien force which has changed their nature altogether. Casey and a few other survivors including the chemistry teacher, must plan to get rid of the infected humans and the alien threat before they can spread out and infect the entire country. Will they manage to ace the race against time and the dangers from the mindless and violent infected humans? There are some movies that don't seek to be a timeless classic, and yet they are fully capable of providing you with some harmless entertainment. The Faculty is a clever teen movie by the talented Robert Rodriguez with a unique twist on the popular invasion of the Body Snatchers story. The story of alien parasites taking over human bodies might sound familiar, but the unexpected plot twists and fun-filled narrative make for an engaging watch. The cast is a fine mix of fresh faces and experienced actors, and the likes of Robert Patrick do not disappoint. We must also acknowledge the special effects team for mixing CGI with traditional monster mayhem to provide a visually enriching outcome. The humans taken over by the alien parasites offer a generous dose of violence and humor, and the witty narrative ensures almost 100 minutes of pure joy that can take care of your workday blues. Slither. It all begins with a meteorite crashing on Earth, bringing with it a deadly and malevolent extraterrestrial parasite. It soon starts infecting humans in a small town in South Carolina, and it takes over the human bodies and absorbs the mind, gaining full control of the individuals. People change into a grotesque, tentacle-wielding, monstrous form, and almost everyone in the town is affected by this alien force. All the transformed individuals are controlled as a part of the hive mind, and the 
goal of this extraterrestrial force seems to be a complete control of all life forms on Earth. The town's sheriff, who is one of the rare survivors, teams up with the others and they try to fight an unlikely battle to eliminate this alien threat. Can they overcome the monstrous humans and the super intelligent plans of the extraterrestrial parasite? James Gunn is a veteran director who has mastered all the tricks of the trade in the sci-fi genre and through Sliver, he brings a perfectly made homage to the 60s and 70s horror style. The narrative has everything from the expected over-the-top gore to dark humor that will leave you in splits. The bloodthirsty, meat-eating, squid-like creature is the first human transformation that we witness, bears all the memories of the old-school sci-fi horror flicks and the low budget makes things all the more like the movies from back in the day. The actors have wonderful chemistry and they stitch some much-needed order amidst the chaos. The narrative doesn't really have too many scary moments but you will surely be laughing your head off throughout the runtime of the movie. If creature features tickle your entertainment taste, Sliver will certainly be an enjoyable watch for you. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1978. This iconic remake of the classic tale of alien infiltration in the human world starts off on a rather innocent note when a public health inspector in San Francisco named Matthew Benell is curious about his friend Elizabeth's complaints regarding her husband who seems to have changed drastically all of a sudden. When they speak to their psychiatrist friend, the latter reveals that of late, there have been too many such cases where people claimed that their loved ones are no longer who they used to be. Further investigations soon reveal the actual terrifying cause behind such changes. When they learn that a mysterious alien force is cloning the residents of the city one body at a time and this replacement process won't stop until they get to everyone. Matthew and his friends must somehow deal with this otherworldly threat or suffer the same fate. And what happens next is sure to blow your mind. It is never an easy task to remake a widely loved classic and director Philip Kaufman embraces the challenge gracefully enough. This version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers has the same old theme and the tension in the narrative is palpable throughout the movie. The fear of the inevitable invasion by a superior force always looms large in the plot and there are plenty of run and hide chase sequences that will keep your adrenaline levels high. The realistic and subtle acting performances from the likes of Donald Sutherland and Brooke Adams act as the cherry on top. We cannot praise the works of cinematographer Michael Chapman enough. The movie is a visual delight considering it was made in the late 1970s and the realistic look in some of the scenes owes largely to the cinematographer's genius. Aliens taking over the human race will rarely be more exciting and entertaining and this movie is a timeless classic in the true sense of the term. The Blob, 1988. This remake of a 1958 classic tells the story of a jelly-like extraterrestrial organism which crashes down to Earth and starts to dissolve everything in its path, growing continuously in the process. When new victims fall prey to this blob-like terror, the military steps in. But the authorities might be hiding some crucial details in this strange turn of events. When a rebellious kid in the town gets to know the real secrets behind the organism, he is not ready ready to bow down before the authorities and you need to watch this nail-biting entertainer to find out all about the true motives of the government and the organism. As far as monster flicks are concerned, this one deserves to be ranked quite highly simply because of the fun experience that it provides for the audience. Of course, the narrative has a truckload of cheesy content but the movie does a wonderful job of mixing horror elements with sci-fi goodness. The special effects have been handled with precision and they have the right amount of gruesome fun to add to the gore fest. The fast-paced storytelling ensures that not a minute goes by without something particularly exciting happening out of nowhere. Chuck Russell successfully creates the right atmosphere for the movie and the screenplay is surprisingly good for a mindless entertainer. Personally, we loved the visual experience of The Blob and the scenes featuring humans assimilated into the creature will be remembered for times to come. If you are tired of some mediocre and below average remake attempts, this might be a nice Nice way to restore some order.
Color Out of Space, 2019. The works of H.P. Lovecraft and Cosmic Horror almost go hand in hand, and Color Out of Space is another fine specimen from the incredible mind of the horror maestro. It all begins when a secluded family in New England observes strange changes in their surroundings since a meteorite crashes into their front yard. A strange extraterrestrial organism seems to infect everything in the region, and soon the minds and bodies of the family members are also affected. As the alien threat manifests itself in a grotesque body horror nightmare, the psychedelic spectacles aren't as beautiful as they seem. Is there any respite for the family from this terrible situation? It isn't the easiest of things to perfect a Lovecraftian adaptation, and all the credit goes to the director Richard Stanley for embracing the challenge. He presents a gorgeous yet creepy narrative to tell the story, and it is going to be an unforgettable visual experience for the viewers. Nicholas Cage is up for a role doing what he does best, and the movie does a fine job in combining the fear factor of body horror and alien threats with subtle humor to balance things out. The unnatural changes in the family members can be quite eerie, but the use of undescribable colors is what adds to the true cosmic horror nature of the story. Many of the scenes will remind you of David Cronenberg's work in movies like The Brood and Rabid. You might find the film to be ridiculous on certain levels, but but it is still a visually stunning horror classic that is far too well made to be ignored. Night of the Creeps, 1986. Back in 1959, an alien experiment was discarded on Earth as it infected a young man named Johnny. His infected body was frozen and kept in a cryogenic chamber, but after almost 25 years, two geeks thaw the corpse in the hopes of joining a fraternity. Not only is a zombie version of Johnny released into the world, he also releases slugs that have the ability to transform people into zombies. Ray Cameron, the investigating detective, soon realizes that things are far more serious than a childish prank, and they are under attack from an alien parasite that can turn human hosts into killer zombies. When the campus has an overwhelming number of infected zombies running around, can the survivors find a way to get rid of the curse? Night of the Creeps is regarded as a shining light in the comedy horror genre, and rightly so. If you have a taste for properly structured and executed B-movies, this entertaining drama written and directed by Fred Decker will appeal to you. With a modest budget, he made the most of the opportunities, and a clever script handles the proceedings with ease. While you are bound to be amused by the witty writing, the serious horror aspects are also present, especially in the suspenseful turn of events. The effects are decent for the budget, and the alien slugs transforming humans have been made as believable as possible. Tom Atkins performs out of his skin as the detective protagonist, and the young heroes are also appropriate for their role. This movie is a relatively underrated 80s horror gem that can ensure a thoroughly entertaining movie night with a couple of beers. Extra 1982. Tom was playing with his father Sam when the latter was abducted by a strange alien light and went missing. Strangely enough, he returned to Earth after three years and sought out his wife and son. By now, his wife was living with someone else and Tony suffered from some strange experiences and dreams. Sam's reunion with his family was awkward, to say the least, and things got worse when his wife realized that he was very different from how he used to be before he disappeared three years ago. As it turned out, a hostile alien species sought to replicate rapidly and take over the population on Earth, and Sam was only their medium to get their job done. Is there any chance of stopping this alien force? Extra is surreal, bloody, and bizarre all at once. But there is no denying the fact that the movie offers some pure B-grade sci-fi schlock entertainment. It should probably fall under the category of films that are so bad that they are good, and we aren't saying so in a demeaning way. The special effects aren't exactly special, and they aren't meant to be. Even the crappy acting is supposed to be hilarious for the laughs, and everything adds up just how it was intended to be. The simple plot is hardly disturbed by the low budget of the movie, and the fans of weird and funny sci-fi horror 
horror flicks will absolutely love this one. One of the most intriguing things in the movie has to be the schizoid nature of the monster, which is part human, part alien and torn between its purpose and love for its child. Extro might not be a movie to remember for the ages, but it will not disappoint you if you give it a chance. Life 2017. The possibility of life on Mars has always been a subject of great interest for scientists and sci-fi fans, and the movie Life offers a terrifying take on the chances. The narrative follows a six-member crew on the International Space Station after they discover the presence of a rapidly evolving life form on Mars. As they explore the physiological details of the alien life form, it gains intelligence, and now the scientists are all trapped inside the space station with a hostile alien force. It turns out to be far more dangerous than what they anticipated and the scientists must find a way to destroy it, failing which it can potentially threaten the security of the Earth. However, things are easier said than done because the super intelligent alien would go to any lengths to survive. Life might seem to be a rather generic title for a sci-fi alien flick and even the story might sound familiar to many, but we can assure you that you will be pleasantly surprised by the end results here. The nail -bite Writing storyline is helped by a pretty good cast and the likes of Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal throwing in their weight behind the script. There are some genuinely scary moments in the movie and the top-notch CGI effects make things a bit too believable for comfort at times. The story does well to organize a thorough build-up and the tension-filled ambience will get to most viewers. Yes, the thematic similarities with Alien are unavoidable, but we, the viewers, aren't complaining. Overall, this is a movie with tons of potential, and even though the creature designs might not be to everyone's liking, it is a sleek thrill in space that you shouldn't ignore. Look out, Jonesy. Dreamcatcher 2003 Pete, Henry, Jonesy and Beaver are four friends who have a secret annual ritual where they go for an annual hunting trip in the main forests. However, this particular year, their trip takes a different turn when the area is hit by a blizzard and they manage to rescue a man who has been lost for days in the woods. He is slightly disoriented and has strange marks on his face, but the friends soon discover the terrifying truth about the man and what he is infected with, a deadly alien virus. It turns out that an alien species crash landed in the region and now, in order to contain the alien infection, a crazed military admiral plans to wipe out the entire region. Unknown to all, an alien entity has taken over the admiral's mind and is dictating his decisions. The friends must find a way to survive the alien threat and also the risk of getting eliminated by the army. This underrated Stephen King adaptation might have been sold by the author for only a dollar but the story is certainly worth its weight in gold. It is a movie that has a fine mix of drama, monster features, aliens and also some extrasensory powers in individuals that become decisive in the end. The narrative might not blow your mind and there are some undeniable flaws in the storytelling, but Dreamcatcher manages to impress the viewers by embracing the simplicity of things. There is a lot of CGI thrown in for good measure, but we cannot really call the effects top-notch. In fact, there are times when the movie unintentionally becomes a B-movie, but we aren't complaining because of the sheer entertainment on offer. The effect of the alien virus on the infected humans is quite terrifying, and this promises a few memorable scenes. There is no reason for the film to be rated so low, and you will have to watch this horror sci-fi gem to find out what we are talking about. The Invasion 2007 A space shuttle explodes while returning to Earth and its fragments bring in an alien virus that recodes the human DNA and alters their behavior, turning them into emotionless robots. The first to notice these behavioral changes is a psychiatrist named Carol Benell, who watches her clients change drastically. Even a former husband is infected and she discusses a possible remedy with her friend Dr. Ben Discroll and Dr. Stephen Galliano. Upon further investigation, they realize that the alien epidemic affects humans in their sleep and while the people have no defense against such an attack, Carol's son Ollie is somehow immune to this disease. Could he hold the key to prevent the escalating invasion and stop everyone from turning into who they are not? The reviews do 
don't always do justice to a movie, and The Invasion falls under this unfortunate category. Even though it has received a lot of hate, we are here to tell you that this Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig starer is far from disappointing. The movie was rewritten and refilmed to add the climactic twist and some more action scenes, and the plan clearly worked wonders. The fast-paced camera work goes hand-in-hand -hand with a quickly unfolding plot, and the suspense in the scenes will make sure that you have your eyes wide open all the time. The human transformations following the alien infection are worth watching as they turn into what can be best described as emotionless, mindless and painless zombies. With some powerful acting performances, the likeable protagonists come alive in the story, and watching Nicole Kidman getting chased by some weird, stale people never gets boring. The Hidden, 1987. The opening scene of a movie is often a good indication of where things are headed, and The Hidden spares no effort in creating the perfectly jaw-dropping first scene. We watch a violent bank robbery in Los Angeles where all the security guards are killed, and soon we get to witness a series of violent murders and robberies affecting the city. An FBI agent teams up with a local officer to solve these mysterious crimes, and it is soon revealed that the crimes are of an extraterrestrial origin. An alien parasite is able to possess human bodies and it makes them perform the unthinkable violence that the human wouldn't imagine in his normal state. Can this hidden alien force be subdued before the entire Los Angeles becomes a bloodbath? The director, Jack Shoulder, regards this as his favorite among all the movies that he made. And after watching this no-nonsense alien drama, we are convinced that the man has picked it right. This underrated sci-fi thriller has some unforgettable twists and the narrative is so entertaining that you wouldn't be able to take your eyes off the screen. Humans being turned into out-of-control killing machines might not seem like the most innovative idea, but the execution will leave nothing to complain about. The body count is quite high and you will be treated with some typical 80s B-movie style violence and bloodshed. The cast comprising the likes of Kyle MacLachlan, Michael Nori and Claudia Christian is impressive as expected, and you need to watch out for the unexpected ending that will blow your mind. Searching for the perfect alien flick for a fun movie night? Look no further, because The Hidden will tick all the right boxes. The Astronaut's Wife, 1999. Two astronauts, Spencer Armacost and Alex Streck, left their spacecraft in order to repair a satellite. Suddenly, an explosion makes NASA lose control with them for two minutes before everything is restored. Luckily, the astronauts still manage to safely return to Earth, but something about them seems to have changed. Spencer Armacost, in particular, seems to have a hard time coping with the change in all that happened, and his wife, Gillian, notices some drastic changes in him. She is pregnant, and she gets the constant feeling that the life inside her is not from this world. With time, she has reason to believe that her husband is something else altogether, and you might have guessed already, an alien interference seems to be the missing piece of the puzzle. You could call this a shamelessly derivative film, and we would have nothing to debate you because it is evidently true. An astronaut's wife is a mix of several popular sci-fi movie tropes, but the mixture creates a cocktail that is enjoyable beyond a doubt. You might suffer frequently from a sense of deja vu, but you will not be complaining because of the thrilling narrative on offer. Johnny Depp, as one of the protagonists, is as impressive as ever, and Charlize Theron also does a decent job as the astronaut's wife. The dark finale is quite admirable, and overall, you will find yourself appreciating the subtle cinematography and even the ambient music. Some of the scenes are truly visually enticing, and even though a few questions remain unanswered, this is a movie that will not be a waste of your time. Under the Skin, 2013. Who could be a better femme fatale than an attractive young woman inhabited by an alien entity? Under the Skin toys with this genius idea, and starring the alluring Scarlett Johansson, it makes sure that there wouldn't be a single dull moment in the movie. The story follows her murderous spree as she hunts down unsuspecting male victims across the streets of Scotland after dark. These men are first seduced by her charms, and then they are taken into an otherworldly 
otherworldly dimension only to be stripped and consumed. However, the killing spree is not exactly mindless because with time she goes through a process of self-discovery which might lead to some tragic and terrifying consequences. This movie is not exactly your regular commercial drama and from the beginning it must be clear that such storytelling will captivate some while alienating others. The slow pacing of the script, the atmospheric narrative, the haunting cinematography and eerie lighting all comes together to ensure some critical success but the entertainment factor is jeopardized at times. It is visually stunning and if you have the patience to embrace the story, you will experience a mesmerizing and unforgettable journey. One of the unique things during the filming of Under the Skin was some of the men lured into a van by Scarlett Johansson's character. The director, Jonathan Glazer, later revealed that the men were not actors and they were filmed with hidden cameras inside the van. It was only later that they were informed about being part of the movie and this ensured some natural performances. Overall, the movie offers a fine reflection of humanity through the lens of the extraterrestrial and this strange and hypnotic experience is a must-have for all the sci-fi fans out there. Alien Covenant 2017. This is another timeless classic from the Alien franchise and the story is premised in the year 2104 which is roughly 11 years after the disastrous expedition in Prometheus. The spaceship Covenant is a deep space colonization vessel and it is on course for a remote planet with over 2000 colonists in cryogenic sleep. However, things take a drastic turn when the captain of the ship is killed in a freak accident and the executive officer is left in charge. After discovering a nearby planet, which everyone thinks to be uncharted paradise, the colonists decide to substitute it for their original mission. What they don't know is that a threat beyond imagination awaits them in this dangerous world and escaping the treacherous planet might be next to impossible. Ridley Scott doesn't play around and he proves it yet again with a solid comeback after the mixed response over Prometheus. The creators make use of the most loved elements from the previous Alien movie and these efforts ensured that a majority of the franchise fans are appeased. The alien creatures in this movie are the first actual xenomorphs, but the special effects for the creatures could have been handled better. There are times when the CGI simply looks awkward and there are a few scenes that aren't convincing enough. Keeping such minor disappointments aside, it is best to focus on the better aspects, such as the constant thrill and the suspense in the plot. Even when some things don't quite add up, you will find yourself in immersed in the fluid narrative. In short, Alien Covenant might not be the finest movie in the franchise but it offers a lot of hope for the future of this fan favorite. An alien force infecting and transforming humans or taking over their bodies and minds has always been an intriguing subject and these movies explore the genre with perfection. Do let us know in the comments below which one of these films are your personal favorites and also tell us about any particular movie from the genre that we may have missed out.